everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to take our school's rotation calendar from the format that it is right now and how to edit this to make this a personalized schedule for you and put it into a format that either Microsoft Outlook or Google Calendar can read so that you can import the entire year's class rotation into your personal calendar of choice. So I have Microsoft Excel here on the left and a Google Sheet window on the right. I'm gonna show you uh, how you can make edits to this file that we've produced so that you can personalize your schedule. And then you can find other directions on how to take this final product and import it into Google uh, Calendar or, or, sorry, Microsoft Outlook via the URL that you can find in the description of this video. Both programs um, work very similar, similarly. So Excel, you can use the find function and I'm doing the screencast on my Mac so it looks a little bit different on a Windows computer but it's the same command. So you're gonna hit Control F and in the Mac it's gonna put it up here but in the uh, PC it's gonna pop up a window and if you want to take, for instance, A1, which you can see over here is my subject. Um, it's one of the designated subjects. So we made it generic and easy to use the find and replace tool. So if you search for A1 dash, that's the search term that's going to find every single one of these boxes that has exactly that set of characters in it. And then you're gonna use the replace function. And this window should show up and you can do all your work right here. If my A1 class is an English class and I want to keep A1 designated in here, or if you're coming down on the wrong side of history and you're a 1A person, I don't understand you, but you could change the name of the A1 box to whatever you want it to be. So you can make it A1-English and if I hit replace all, it changed all 88 classes and you can see every A1 is now called A1-English. And you can do that for each of your courses. Find B1, call it Science, and replace that. And there they all are. Oh, you see I made a mistake. I left this as A1. Let's replace A1 Science with B1 science, because I messed that up before. And you can go through each of your courses, finding each period and replacing it with whatever you want to call that period using the replace all function, and then moving on to the next course. So I'm going to close that in Excel, and I'm going to show you the same thing happens, or the same tool is available to you in Google Sheets by going Control F on a PC or Command F on a Mac, and you can search for A1 dash, and you see Google Sheets is going to start highlighting it for you. Hit the More Options feature, and you can replace it with A1 dash English and replace all of those and the same thing happens. You can do the same thing for location. So if you have, um, if you're a teacher and all your classes are in one spot, you can drop in the location change. If you don't want the location to appear, you could delete this column if you want. Um, you can edit pretty much everything you want to edit in A and B and G, but you really need to keep C, D, E, and F the same. These are formatted very particularly so that you can see both of these have very specific formatting options that had to be checked off and menus and things like that. Um, they have very form specific formatting options that both Google Calendar and Microsoft Outlook are gonna be looking for. So don't mess with any of those, please. Uh, but you can make the edits using the Find and Replace tool like you want elsewhere in these columns. The categories option is something that I use in my personal outlook, which is why it's here, but if you want to delete that, you can. Um, I like to have um, my classes be a different color than meetings and things like that on my school calendar, so the class category shows up as a certain color in my um, Microsoft Office. You can delete this column if you don't want that, but 
hopefully this is a way for you to put uh, I think 700 different events into your calendar within the next three minutes after watching this video. Um, you can make the edits that you want to make here and then there will be directions on how to import the file you produce out of this work into both Microsoft uh, Outlook and Google Calendar um, on the page that is in the description of this video. Uh, but for both programs, you need to produce a .csv file. That's a comma separated value file. So if you go to download as CSV, you can download the CSV from Google Sheets. And then if you go to um, file, save as, some of these options are a little bit different on a Mac, but you want to get a .csv file, this one down here where it says comma separated values, that's the one you want um, from Excel. That is the base language that your calendar application of choice can understand. It takes out all the formatting and stuff like that. One last special tip, if you are a teacher or a part-time student and you want to erase some of the classes because you either have a planning period or you're a part-time student, you can sort the list by using the freeze feature, this little freeze bar up here in Google Sheets, or and there's probably a different way to do it, but for me, I would, there's some extra cells down here which I want to delete. For me, I would make this a table. So in Excel, you can select all of your data and say format as a table. doesn't matter what format you pick, but say that my table has headers and say, okay. And it makes a little list here for you. Either way, however you want to do it, you're going to sort your list by subject from A to Z. Don't worry about it changing the order of everything. The calendar is not going to get confused by that. And then you can find whatever period you're trying to delete. So if I had A2 planning, I could take all these A2 classes and right click and delete those rows. You can do the same thing over here in Excel, selecting whatever cell rows you want, right click and delete. So that's a way for you to further personalize your schedule so that you can have your calendar app either on your computer or on your phone or on your tablet to match the school's calendar. And we're pretty confident that this is correct. Um, we've had several people check it and we've gone through this process on a couple different computers and it seems to work pretty flawlessly. So as long as you're following the directions and you're not editing anything that you shouldn't be editing, do keep in mind that this is a delicate process and if you change any of the formattings for any of the tools, you're probably just going to want to download a fresh copy of the document and start again because it is going to be very particular. It is a precise thing that we're doing here to make sure the calendar gets everything correct. So uh, hopefully this helps you be a little bit more organized for the school year and better plan for things that are coming up in the future.